the 27th Annual Business Excellence Award. And thank you for doing this year two uh, for us and uh, taking a chance with us. So in the last 18 months, we have shifted our focus to help our chamber members and our local business community by getting important information out to them. We've been dispensing rapid test kits and we've been getting through the many challenges and difficulties faced during this pandemic and economic crisis we are all facing. As we continue to see restrictions, people are getting back to work and with the many changes every day, we will continue to push ahead with our goals to help drive the economic recovery for our community and to make the Chamber an effective convener, collaborator, and community builder within our business ecosystem. If we are only ever as strong as our weakest link, it is incumbent upon us to work collectively to support and uplift others. We know it will take the efforts of our entire communities coming together as one to get back to some sort of normal. Stronger together. I am so proud to be able to acknowledge and encourage our business community at tonight's award ceremonies. I would like to thank our Business Excellence Committee for their countless hours they spent getting tonight's ceremony prepared for you. Please give the Business Excellence Committee a honking welcome. <laughs> This year, we have a different kind of trophy for the winners, and with the co collaboration of local artist Todd Stahl and graphic designer Charlene Houle, we hope you will like the design. We also held a coloring contest to win a character picture from Todd and decided the fair way to do it with all the applications or all the drawings that came in was to choose it on a wheel, and the winner chosen is Alexi Patel. Congratulations. <laughs> There are so many heroes in our community, and tonight we have the honor to recognize a few. Please be sure to congratulate all the finalists and all the winners, and be sure to go out into the business community and utilize them for your needs. They will be appreciative of you, and they will be thankful for your support. Thank you again to our event sponsor, Libro Credit Union, and to all of tonight's sponsors. We could not make this appreciation ceremony without your help. Sit back, enjoy the show, and as superheroes, be safe and always, always practice kindness. Now I would like to welcome to the stage Jen Dawson to say a few words. All right, good evening, everyone. What a fabulous night we have here tonight. I'm so proud of everyone and all the work that they've done to make this happen. So tonight was such a fun theme that I thought I would like to share a few superhero quotes to start off the night. Um, I'm a big superhero fan, so I thought this was a little bit fun to do. So first up, Superman, who doesn't love Superman. His quote is, the amazing can only be created by facing fear, risk, and failure during the process. Okay, so how many amazing business owners and people do we know that know this to be true, but actually didn't know that they were amazing like Superman? Next up is Spider-Man, a fan favorite. With great power comes great responsibility. I bet every business leader or manager wishes they could swing in and conquer every problem or issue that gets in their way. And don't we all know that you don't get to look the other way as a business leader because everyone is watching. The Green Lantern, his, his quote is, no matter how bad things get, something good is out there. It's just over the horizon. Many business owners and leaders know this to be true. Patience and resilience is the superpower that they have. And hope is what gets them there. And last but not least, I couldn't resist. Batman. His quote is, I wear a mask, and that is not to hide who I am, but to create what I am. Now, these Chamber of Commerce masks are pretty awesome, but his mask is next level a confidence builder. So now, what is something that every superpower that all superheroes have in common? 
Even when they don't agree or have the same agenda, they find a way to come together and save the day. They're always stronger together. Our business community is made up of superheroes from all different sectors and backgrounds, but together, they have always been stronger, stronger together. Our communities need us and we need them. Stay strong and superpower on. So thank you so much. I just have a few words to say. Wendy, make sure I do all the good stuff. Um, so tonight, thank you again for everyone that has come here tonight. I'd also like to uh, wish a warm welcome to our mayor, Hilda McDonald, for attending, and Councillor Tim Wilkinson. Thank you very much. It's always good to see you. And I'd also, a big thanks to the Leamington District Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. It's been, a sh it's been a tough year like for everyone else, but we're so grateful. We have a great board. We come together and we do great things. And again, the BEA committee, Charlene and her team have pulled off a great event here tonight and it looks fantastic. I'd also like to thank our sponsors. Our event sponsor is Libro Credit Union. Our program sponsor tonight is Enbridge Gas. Our appetizer sponsors at the VIP event were Paul's Basement Waterproofing Crawl Space Repair Specialists. Our stage sponsor is Seacliff Manor. Our entertainment sponsor is the Leamington BIA. And sponsors that came on board to help run this program, Sun Parlor Radio, Hydro One, Roma Club of Leamington, Southern Logistics, Peely Island Winery, Public Safety Services, Lally South Point Ford, Patricia Pajera, Speed Print, Highbury Canco, and Canadian Tire Leamington. Our media sponsors for tonight, Blackburn Radio, South Point Publishing, Speed Print, BizX, and Your TV. And of course, our award sponsors, Blackburn Radio, BMO Bank of Montreal, CIBC, Kojigo Connection, Community Living Essex County, Invest Windsor Essex, the Municipality of Leamington, Point Pelee National Park, RBC Royal Bank, the Rotary Club of Leamington, Scotiabank, TD Canada Trust, WFCU Credit Union, and Workforce Windsor Essex. That's quite the list. And it just goes to show that this community comes together when in need and when asked. And it's something very special, of course. So please enjoy your night. Take lots of pictures and be sure to tag hashtag Leamington Chamber and hashtag 2021 LDCC Biz X. And I'll hand it off to Jay. Thank you so much, Jen. Let's give a little honk here. Chamber President Jen Dawson. <laughs> And Jen had the honor of uh, fighting through our first technical difficulties, but I think we're probably going to be smooth sailing from now on. So now we're going to continue with the show and move right on to our event sponsor from Libro Credit Union. Let's welcome up Lori Atkinson. Good evening, everyone. Um, as Jay said, my name is Lori Atkinson. I'm the regional manager for Libro Credit Union in the Windsor-Essex region. And I just have to say... It is so wonderful to see so many friends and colleagues this evening. It has been way too long, and uh, I hope we can do it very soon again. Um, I'm really excited to join you here today on behalf of Libro, and I'm proud to support the 27th Annual Business Excellence Awards presented by the Leamington District Chamber of Commerce. Libro's story includes a long collaboration of cooperation among individuals to better the larger group. Our story is about people, not dollars, and doing what we can to bring out the potential around us. We operate with a purpose beyond profit, helping our customers achieve their goals, supporting businesses to create a thriving local economy, and contributing to strong and prosperous communities. And by doing business with Libro, you become part of that larger purpose too. We know that by being different, and our approach to how we do business is different at Libro, we're open to discovering new and innovative solutions. It's about being mindful of opportunities for continuous improvement. And it's recognizing and embracing new ideas and change. That's why Libro is so passionate about collaboration. We share this passion with groups like the Chamber and many of you joining us here this evening. And together we make meaningful and lasting contributions 
right here in Leamington and across southwestern Ontario. While businesses and our modern agri-food system have shown great resiliency and strength in the past two years, we, was, we must remember that COVID-19 is still here. There is still uncertainty ahead and we're still on the road to recovery. You're here because like Libro, you want to make Leamington the best place that it can be. The best place to raise a family, to spend recreation time, to develop and support businesses and see them thrive. You're all here because you share our passion to live and work in a community that's thriving, a community that's growing, a community that through the COVID crisis goes above and beyond the usual to serve the needs and the wants of the people who live here. There's one thing that the pandemic has taught us and it's that there is a hero in all of us. Your work is important to our day-to-day -day existence. By doing your job in a time of crisis and accepting a degree of personal risk, you fulfill the definition of being a hero. Moreover, like a true hero, your identity and contribution may very well remain unknown and unrewarded, and that's okay. We are gathered here tonight to celebrate and honor all of our collaboration and a shared vision for the future business in Leamington. And we will celebrate and honor our local heroes and those who are showing tremendous resiliency in the face of a global pandemic. Tonight, we celebrate local businesses, enterprises and entrepreneurs who put 100% into what they do to help Leamington grow and thrive. Those who are taking the lead with innovation, service excellence, and outstanding commitment to improve Leamington and the surrounding area. Congratulations to all the nominees. We value your contribution. We value your passion and your commitment to success. We value your commitment to work together and we truly appreciate all that you do to help Leamington be the great place it is and will continue to be. You here tonight are all heroes. Thank you to Wendy and the Leamington District Chamber of Commerce for continuing to host this incredible event despite all challenges. And I wish you all a wonderful evening. Thank you. We want to thank, again, everybody who's been so supportive, everybody here who's been through so much to help keep the community growing uh, stronger and stronger. And that's what tonight is all about. Our first award is Moments Away. Also, we do want to give a couple of quick shout outs to uh, some awesome young people doing a lot of great work. Isabel Unger, the Chamber Summer Student, uh, for capturing tonight's videos that are going to be presented throughout the evening. And also to JC Foster for helping with a lot of stuff behind the scenes. There's a lot of work that went in, and uh, those two young ladies did a whole lot of it. And uh, without further ado, I think we're about ready for our first award of the evening. So let's hear from our first award sponsor, which is Kojiko. And please welcome to the stage, Kojiko manager, Terry Doyle. Freshly sanitized. Thank you very much. Good evening, Leamington. Kojiko is certainly very happy to be here this evening to present this award. It's certainly a great opportunity. We're honored and privileged to recognize young professionals who are making a difference in our everyday lives throughout our community. Congratulations to all of the award winners and nominees tonight. And for this one, the nominees are Nicole Anderson from Ricci Ends, Royer and Setterington LLP. Sure, we can honk for that. <laughs> Craig Marintet from Red Lantern Coffee Company. Kaylin Kerr, Jaron Kerr, and Mitch Monaco, the gr My Grind Coffee. And I believe I get, a, do I have an envelope to it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Th then I just get to tell you, for the first time tonight I get to say, and the winner is, congratulations to Nicole Anderson. My name is Nicole Anderson, and I am a lawyer here at Ricci and Ms. Lawyer in Sutterington, 
in Wilmington and I uh, became a partner here in January of 2021. After graduating from law school, I knew that I wanted to, to work toward becoming a partner in a law firm because I wanted to be involved in growing the business. For more than 70 years, our firm has provided uh, legal support to the Wilmington area. I feel very fortunate to be part of our team here and to work with the great Wilmington community. Moving on to award number two, I think we are ready for it. The Leamington Rotary Club, happy to recognize a young student. The youth are our future, of course, and we are excited to welcome up right here. Uh, you, I think he's ready. Do we have Captain Rotary around? I saw him flying around here someplace. There he is, Captain Rotary. <laughs> What an honor it is for Captain Rotary to be here with you tonight. I am a superhero with no powers. The only thing that makes me powerful are all of my friends that help me do amazing things. Rotarians see a world where people unite to create lasting change across the globe, in our communities, and in ourselves. So tonight, we want to take some time to honor one of our amazing young people, young person who's done some incredible things in the community and has such a great future ahead of her. Rotary has done so many things with youth and for youth. We have the Rotary Youth Leadership Awards, RILA. We have Interact, Rotaract, and all kinds of scholarships and things that we do to support the development of young people. And when we find one, and I won't say the name until the last minute here, but we didn't have to look far to find the recipient for this award, because this outstanding student has shown her kindness, her knowledge, and her maturity. She's always been drawn to leadership opportunities by commuting with, uh, committing to being a voice for her peers and pursuing ambitious and innovative projects to better her school community. We are so happy to present this award to the student who is working us along outside, Wendy Parsons. Please welcome Isabel Unger to the stage. Isabel, please come on up. Yeah, let's hear it for Isabel. Let's, let's light up the audience here, Isabel. Now, while she's accepting her award, oh, maybe my mic's going messy here. Uh, We're good. All right. While she's accepting her award, let me tell you a little bit more about Isabel Unger. She just graduated from grade two, international baccalaureate student from uh, Leamington District Secondary School. She's a leader seeking positive, tangible change and advocacy and opportunities for all students. She also commits to homework to help other in the Children's Aid Society. She participates as the chairperson of the Leamington's Mayor Youth Advisory Committee. She's also established a school coffee club for ESL students who are seeking conversational English help. She does it all. She organized Sleeping Out at the Bridge, the initiative to raise awareness about Leamington youth homelessness. And she's just a constant activist for, for people who, who need some help. So if we could do it one more time, a big round of applause um, through your cars for Isabel Unger. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I wasn't really expecting this, so I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, this job has been, honestly, the honor of a lifetime, getting to know new people and interacting in spaces that are new to me. Um, I've just enjoyed so much the, the challenge and just the, this, this, this new world that I'm a part of. So thank you to Wendy and the Chamber for welcoming me. And it's exciting to move um, into a new chapter of my life as I leave this fall. So thank you very much for being supportive of me um, as I do this. So thank you very much. You feel a little better about the future, don't you? Like when you see people like, like this, you know, we're all down all the time. Everybody's mad. School board meetings are mad. Everybody's mad about everything. And then you see somebody like Isabel, who's, who's uh, got such a great head on her shoulders and is, is going to help steer us in the right direction as she gets older. That's incredible. Um, that's just awesome to see. Now, um, congratulations again to her. And again, it's so many this, great to see so many young people getting involved. We're going to go to the next award now. And I think we're about ready for the Positive Professional Award. This is sponsored by RBC Royal 
bank. So if you could watch the screen for a second, we are going to hear from Andrea Schold, the commercial account manager, and uh, this will be featuring uh, Andrea for just a minute. Hello everyone, my name is Andrea Schold. I'm a commercial account manager with Royal Bank and I am coming to you live from Harrow. And um, I'm really happy to be here today and I'm really proud to present the Positive Professional Award. So this year's list of finalists um, are such an exceptional group and we just wanna thank you for all that you've been doing within the community. Thank you so much for your contributions and I would like to congratulate all of the finalists during COVID, they have been instrumental in maintaining such a high level of professionalism and with positivity that is absolutely contagious. So thank you so much. And the finalists in this category are Nat Milana, Milana's menswear, Shelby Foster, Horizon Bed and Breakfast, Troy Loop, Jack's Gastro Pub, and the winner is Nat Milana, Milana's menswear. Congratulations, way to go. My name is Nat Milana, and we're a local menswear store in Leamington, Ontario. We carry a full line of menswear from dressy to casual to fit every man from top to bottom. We are located at 46 Erie Street South in Leamington, Ontario, and we have been in business for 28 years in, this, in beautiful Leamington, Ontario. How we demonstrate positive professionalism is to get involved in our community and promoting its beauty and all its greatest assets and features it has uh, in the surrounding areas. What makes our business special is our excellent customer service and brands we carry, something we take great pride in providing to our customers. My name is Nat Milana from Milana's Menswear in Leamington. I just want to say a huge thank you to the Chamber of Commerce for hosting this event during these such unusual times. Also, thank you to the sponsors, RBC Royal Bank, and the judges for the Business Cyclist Award and for honoring me with the Positive Professional Award. Also, congratulations to the other nominees in this category, Shelby Foster, Horizon B&B, Troy Loop, Jack's uh, Gastro Pub. Thanks again, and I'll keep trying to be positive with the help of my family, staff, and of course, our supportive customers. Thank you. Congrats again, Nat. And thank you to Nat for announcing the other nominees who, who got their time as well. And we are going to have certificates for you guys up here as well. So moving right along, now, now we're clipping. You see, it's not the easiest thing to put on a, a, a glitch-free award show out in the middle of the in the dark in the field or whatever. So we're doing the best we can with it. We're going to keep on rolling with award number four, which, uh, again, Point Pelee National Park is the special jam we have right in our own backyard. And, man, they've been busy over the last 18 months, from bird migration in the spring and fall to the butterflies arriving in September, the beaches, uh, the views are breathtaking, of course, and uh, a happy reminder that our community community is great for tourists and they know what the hype is all about. The Warm Welcome Award is sponsored by Parks Canada, Point Pelee National Park. Please welcome Point Pelee's Superintendent Maria um, Papulius. I hope that's close, Maria. That's exactly right. Thank you. Um, and I hope everyone can actually hear me. There's no technical difficulties here in person, so that's great. Um, so Point Pelee National Park has been uh, welcoming visitors from across Canada and around the world for over a hundred years. And we couldn't do it without the support, um, without the support and the warm welcome provided by all our local businesses. So on behalf of Parks Canada, I would like to congratulate all of this year's nominees. The nominees in this category are the Cured Craft Brewing Company, Sunsets by the Lake, and the Kingsville BIA. <laughs> and the winner is the Kingsville BIA. Mm. 
The Kingsville BIA has been here for 40 plus years and we represent the business community of the entire greater Kingsville area. So we have members that come from Cottam, Ruthven and Kingsville itself. We're proud of our tagline where we are here for you to shop, dine and discover. So we offer everything from retail and tourist types of fun things to do all the way through to eating, drinking and then any service you could possibly imagine. My experience is that the warm and inviting atmosphere is part of the Kingsville DNA. Whether you are talking to somebody in the street looking for directions or you're entering one of our businesses, uh, it's just one of those places where it comes very naturally for us to be warm, welcoming, and, and genuinely happy to see people. I think it is the people in general and how much they they love their business, they love the community. Um, we're, we're a big family and it's uh, it's unlike uh, most municipalities where we really do um, pick each other up. Uh, you know, we just went through some tough times and we were always there for each other, just like a family would do. Number five, we're moving along here. Award number five is the Welcoming Accessibility Award and it is sponsored by Community Living Essex County. This year, Community Living Essex County is celebrating its 60th anniversary. We've been inspiring possibilities for people of all ages with an intellectual disability since 1961. We currently serve over 700 people in their families in our communities. We are the proud sponsors of the Welcoming Accessibility Award. This award, like our organization, encourages communities to celebrate inclusion. Each year, this award is given to a local business for making significant contributions towards the development of a welcoming and accessible community. This year, the nominees are South Essex Community Council, Southwestern Ontario Gleaners, and Switzer Cardi Transportation Incorporated. The winner is South Essex Community Council. Congratulations on receiving the Welcoming Accessibility Award. SECC is a nonprofit community services organization which serves the communities of South Essex. We deliver support in five distinct areas, community home support services, language and settlement services, children and youth services, career hubs, employment and training services, and community information and income support services. There are a number of ways that SECC demonstrates welcoming accessibility for the communities that we serve. One of SECC's four core values is inclusivity. We welcome everyone. We are committed to helping everyone in any way that we can. All our staff are required to be trained in the Ontario Disabilities Act, cultural competency training, mental health first aid training, and gender, sexuality, and active allyship training. We offer services in a variety of languages and with flexible delivery options in person, virtual, and over the phone to ensure everyone can access our services. We have three locations to serve you where you are and can provide transportation. SECC has been in Leamington since 1973. SECC has sites in Leamington, Kingsville, and Windsor and works with a variety of community and business partners to achieve our mission. SECC is a one-stop shop for a variety of different services. We work collaboratively with 14 other community organizations to make sure a variety of social and community services are delivered right here in our community. We strive to build a stronger community one person at a time by providing a welcoming and compassionate environment that respects the needs, backgrounds, and situations of each individual who comes through our doors. We meet people where they are and we work alongside them, taking their lead to ensure each person gets exactly what they need to thrive. Um, thank you so much. This is a great honor. Uh, many of you know that at South Essex Community Council, we spend our days looking for ways to assist people and work with people who are less fortunate or are experiencing a variety of challenges. This past 18 months, the, pand the pandemic has really spurred us on to find innovative solutions to make our services as accessible as possible. Um, we are actually in the process of starting Saturday hours, which we're really excited about, so that folks who are working 
have a better chance of access, um, accessing our services. We spend a lot of time making sure that we provide services in a variety of languages and that um, our, our sites are accessible, um, that we offer other, other services or our services for folks who, in ways for folks who are deaf or blind. And it's really important for us to make sure that anyone can access our services regardless of their circumstances. So I do wanna thank everyone um, for this honor. Uh, we really do appreciate it, thanks. All right, congratulations again to uh, Carolyn from SECC. Fantastic. So moving along here, our next award, award number six, if you're following along, is gonna be the Small Business Excellence Award. And this is for anybody with one to nine employees. This is sponsored by WFCU Credit Union. Hello everyone, Jason Olajanik here, Director of Commercial Services for WFCU Credit Union. WFCU Credit Union, once again, is proud to be the sponsor of the Small Business Excellence Award. There's no question that small businesses have been greatly impacted over the past 18 months. That said, we've seen tremendous resilience from small businesses all over. Despite facing these great challenges, it further demonstrates the importance of small business sector. Small businesses are and always will be the backbone of our community, so it's with great pleasure that I'm able to present this prestigious award. WFCU Credit Union is proud to play an active role in supporting the communities in which we serve. Leamington and the surrounding area is one of great importance to us and our region. Congratulations to all nominees. All are well deserving of this award. The nominees in the Small Business Excellence category with one to nine employees are Floods Nursery Farms, Impact Health and Fitness Center, and Speed Print Limited. And the winner is Speed Print Limited. Congratulations to all, congratulations to Speed Print. Thank you and have a good night. At Speed Print, we provide our clients with everything they need to have a professionally branded business. Um, this starts with the logo typically, and from there we can build out everything they need. So this would include printed materials, it includes websites, uh, signage for their buildings, uh, vehicle graphics, promotional products, all of these things together um, help build that image of a brand. At Speedprint we really care about meeting the needs of our clients. We have a very dedicated and experienced team of people who are committed to creating very highly customized solutions for our customers, uh, often with very tight deadlines. I think what makes Speedprint special is the fact that we've been around for 34 years. Um, this business is very different than when it started in 1987. We've continued to evolve over the years. We've added new products and new services. We've developed our expertise in new areas and partnered with very talented people. Um, we have a process of continuous improvement uh, that we work on every day and that's for me the most satisfying part of this business is watching our people grow and watching them improve every day and that's also what makes uh, the future so exciting. Thank you Jen, the entire Chamber Board. Uh, it's an honour on behalf of Brian Corneys I'm here to accept this award. I'm kind of a last minute install. Um, anyway, yes, I am the newest member of uh, the Speedprint team and uh, I am heading up the sign division for Speedprint. So it's an honor to win this. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And congrats again to Speedprint and all those nominees as we move along to honor some more excellent small businesses. The second part of the small business excellence category is for those with employees of uh, 10 to 50. And again, this Small Business Excellence Award is sponsored by Scotiabank. Uh, thanks again, shout out to Barb Dennis from Scotiabank for helping us out uh, with the video as well. On behalf of Scotiabank, we are honored to be a sponsor of the Business Excellence Awards and honored to be able to present the finalists in this category. The list of finalists so far has been exceptional. 
and this category continues to bring excellence. We thank you for your service. The nominees in the Small Business Excellent category for 10 to 50 employees are Limited Home Hardware, Seacliff Manor Retirement Residence, Shoppers Drug Mart in Limington, and the winner is Seacliff Manor Retirement Residence. Congratulations! We are a retirement home that opened in 2017. We offer all three levels of care. Uh, we're owned by um, Mr. Paroli, uh, Paroli Group Developments. Um, he has an aging in place model. He had a vision years and years and years ago of a need for Leamington to have memory care. We offer independent assisted living and memory care. And then he built on to the heights in the apartments. Um, and that's how Seacliff Manor became in, in place. We are located 30 Seacliff Drive East within the Paroli Group development spectrum in the you know beautiful community of Leamington. We maintained a COVID free building um, and we're very very proud of that because we're only one of two homes in Windsor and Essex County that have been COVID free. We're a little bit different than the norm our dining is different, our look is different, and I think that each and every single home that's out there has a different vision, and our vision um, is very intense on health and safety, which we have, I think, fulfilled in the last at least 18 months anyway, if not the last four years. And we would like to welcome to the stage the winner of this award. Please welcome a representative from... Seacliff Manor. Appreciate the community in this area. Um, we worked really, really diligently to be very COVID free in that building. Um, and I have to give props to Paroli Group for offering me the ability to do that. Um, so I'm very, very thankful of the community and the company and the residents, the staff, and all the volunteers. So thank you. So many great local businesses around here. So many great, uh, great people to honor. And again, congratulations to all of the 2021 winners. Congratulations to all the nominees. And uh, just know the judges had a really difficult time difficult task uh, when it came to choosing the winners in each of the categories so again we're truly we're truly happy and blessed to have so many great people like you just, just doing what you do in our community and it was a tough call uh, but again we want to honor the just nominees as well so if you got nominated be proud to come on up and grab a certificate hang it on the wall of your business and uh, and we'll see you again next year that's great moving in to the next award this one is uh, one of the big ones. It is the Customer First Award, and this one is sponsored by CIBC. So if we could give a big warm welcome up here and uh, welcome one of our favorite presenters up here from CIBC, your branch manager in Leamington. Let's give it up for Joe Oswald. Wendy uh, and her committee, uh, this, this marks the 15th year that I've been here, and it's, uh, it's something that I mark in my calendar each and every year. It's a celebration of, of, of businesses in our community. Businesses that employ our residents, give back to the community, sponsor our sports teams. They are truly the identity to our community. I also want to thank our uh, public servants. Uh, we have the mayor, councillors, member of, members of parliament here tonight which again speaks volumes to, to your community service, your commitment to community, and your purpose-driven leadership. Thank you for all that you do, and I don't think that there's been an event that I've been at uh, with regards to this Business Excellence Awards where there has not been representation from all members of our, of our municipal government and our provincial and federal government as well. So thank you. Uh, to say that this has been a couple uh, years uh, of adversity for our business owners would be an understatement. Uh, you got into business to serve your clients. You didn't get into business to deal with the adversity that you've had to deal with over the last couple of years. 
But I'm a true believer that we'll never ever be remembered or measured by our successes in our life, but yet in how we handled our adversities in life. And over the past 18 months, you've been dealt your share of adversities. But tonight is a celebration of you because what you've done is that you've adapted. In most circumstances, you've improvised. But more importantly, you've overcome and you've achieved. And that speaks to your character, your dedication, not only to your vision, to your community, but also to your employees, which I know as a business owner, your employees are first to you. I know your customers are very important to you, but without your employees, you don't have that client loyalty. You are leaders amongst your peers and you're leaders amongst your community. The term luck is used very openly when it comes to success. Most of the people in this audience tonight and in your cars can think of a moment where someone has walked into your home or walked into your office and saw a picture of your family. It's probably very quickly said, what a beautiful family you are, how lucky you are. And you've probably looked at that photo and said that it had nothing to do with luck. It's hard work, it's perseverance. There's an element of luck in, I guess, everything that we do. But the reason that you're here tonight, the reason that you've made it to this moment has nothing to do with luck. It's your commitment to excellence. It's your commitment to growth, both personally and professionally. And tonight, your clients have spoken. I am very honored to nominate the following three businesses that have made it to the top three. I want to hear the clapping. I want to hear the horns for each recipient as I pause. The first nominee is Abraham Orthodontics. Second nominee is Paul Basement Waterproofing and Crawl Space Repair. Third is someone I'm proud to call a peer, Libro Credit Union. And the recipient of the Customer First Award for 2021 is Liberal Credit Union. Liberal Credit Union is a full service financial institution offering everything from accounts to investments, mutual funds, business lending, retail lending. Liberal Credit Union is located at 141 Erie Street South in Leamington. We also have a branch at 328 Main Street in Kingsville. Liberal Credit Union is a cooperative financial institution, meaning that our customers are actually owners of the credit union. It is that ownership that we take pride in, knowing the individual we are facing is actually part owner of the company. We are small in size, which allows for us to know more of our ownership on a personal basis. Uh, it's that personal business, that personal knowledge of the individual that helps us achieve the customer service that our owners expect and that we expect. Thanks to everyone. Thanks, uh, Leamington Chamber. I think, you know, one thing really sums it up. We would not be here without our customers. We would not be here without our owners. And we really uh, live every day with that in mind. Giving 100% of our profits back to our communities and back to our owners is really what we're all about. And as Lori said earlier, if you join us, we can give that much more back. Paul? Said it all, David. I would like to thank uh, the nominee for uh, putting forward Liberal Credit Union and to the other nominees of this category, congratulations on being nominated and recognized as putting your customer first.
All right, congrats again to everybody again from Libro uh, Credit Union. That's excellent. We're uh, we're moving along here. As again, all the nominees, you're welcome to come get your certificates. We have some more prizes to give out, but the main thing, we got a few more awards to hand out, including the next one here, which is uh, going to be award number eight. And we're going to welcome to the stage the chair of the Business Excellence Awards, Charlene Houle, who is going to present the Invest in a World Class Workforce Award, which is sponsored by Workforce Windsor Essex. All righty. Um Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. Um, every year, this is this is a lot of work to get done. Um, COVID has obviously produced some challenges for us in the last couple of years that I've been chair. Um, but I want to thank. First of all, I want to thank all of the sponsors because without the sponsors, we honestly couldn't we couldn't give these awards out to these deserving businesses. Um, one of the things Wendy said to me at the beginning was stick to the script because I don't in general. <laughs> so I brought paper. I'm going to try to stick to the shift, to the script. I want to thank Workforce Windsor Essex for sponsoring this award. Invest in a world-class workforce. Um, they're unable to attend the, the ceremony tonight, but without this sponsor and without every sponsor, we really and truly couldn't put this on. So I want to thank the sponsors. I also want to thank every single business that was nominated because this has been a challenging time and people have really measured up. Um, just look around you to every single business. Every business has had to make changes. Every single business has had to adapt how they do business. They've had to change their market. They've had to do so many things to try to succeed during this. And the effort that's gone in, gone on is so appreciated. So every single nominee should be celebrated. And we did. We celebrated everyone. The decisions were difficult. Um, and I just want those that didn't necessarily win to know that every single one of you is important to our community. With that said, <laughs> the finalists in this category are Erie Shores Healthcare, Erie Shores Family Health Team, and the Leamington Mennonite Home. The winner of the Workforce Windsor Essex Award is Erie Shores Healthcare. Erie Shores Healthcare is a full service community hospital and we have various offerings for our community. The emergency department, we have critical care, we have obstetrics, we have a full diagnostic imaging department, and we also do a lot of work in the community, for example, with our COVID assessment response team. Erie Shores Healthcare is located in Leamington, Ontario. We do have a wide catchment area, which includes the entire Essex County region. And we have been in service since 1950. I think that it is so valuable for us as a, an executive team in the organization to be able to recognize the employees and the work that they do. They're so committed to making a difference in our community and anything that we can give back to them to ensure that they feel that they are in a positive environment and that we support the work that they do that's so important that we know they will come to work every day and give their best and will be committed to the people that we serve and touch everyone's life in a very special way, both the patients and their families. And we're doing a lot presently as a hospital as we try to work towards an improved and refreshed retention and recruitment program. For example, we're doing many things regarding retention in order to make sure that these valuable employees decide to stay and keep Erie Shores Healthcare as their home as they continue to serve the community. Whether it's a refreshed awards program, um, recognition program, training for our employees, there's many levers of engagement that we're leaning on to make sure that employees know that they're listened to, they're valued, and we communicate with them regularly and make sure that they know that they're what makes Erie Shores Healthcare great. And of course, someone from Erie Shores Healthcare, please join us up at the podium, enjoy your moment, get your photo, get your award, 
and uh, and and we'd invite you to say a few words as well as we are we are humbled to be in in the company of such professionals who have been through so much and have gotten us all through so much this year uh beyond the pandemic we're looking to you guys for for our health needs as well and uh, we're all so grateful so this is this is a big award here and we uh we're happy to have someone from erie shores coming up uh thank you to the chamber and to the sponsor for this award it is a uh, timely uh for us to receive this award as you can imagine we are headed into some difficult times and uh, this is so appreciated. I'd like to thank uh, the individual that nominated us. <laughs> Sorry. And um, I would also like to thank the Mennonite Home and as well as the Family Health Team. They have been great partners over the last 12 to 18 months. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I also think it's very important right now to recognize our frontline heroes. Without them, we wouldn't be where we are. Those are our nurses, our volunteers, our physicians, um, housekeepers, everyone within the hospital. Trying, trying times. And uh, your support and commitment to us over the next <laughs> six months is greatly appreciated. So thank you. Our next award is sponsored by the Municipality of Leamington. This one is going to be the Innovation Award. And we are very honored, very happy to uh, come up to present this award, Leamington's Mayor, Hilda McDonald. Buddy, isn't it nice to be here and to be chilly for a change? I'm shivering up here. Anyway, everyone has alluded to it this evening. The Innovation Award really goes out to every business that has had to adapt and change and refocus. Normally the, the award goes to businesses that are either first starting out and, and you have that innovation and you have that zest for doing things differently or ones that have been in business for quite some time and have learned that they need to be innovative in order to stay ahead of the competition. But this past year has made everyone be innovative. If you wanted to succeed, you had to find a new way to do business. And that was key to this group tonight. So again, the nomin nominees were and I'm going to have to look to you two again to remind me. I know Iron Kettle was one. Oh yeah, sorry, we're just, we're just chatting up a storm over here, Hilda. Sorry about that. That's all right. Yeah, so we've got Cindy's Home and Garden. Did right. you mention Cindy's, Cindy's Home and Garden? Did we mention Iron Kettle Bed and Breakfast? Yeah. Oh, you know, you're missing a big one. No, I know, Nature Fresh. Nature Fresh Farms. Nature Fresh Farms has always been innovative, and that's really interesting. Now we've got some newcomers being innovative, right? That's, that's right. really describing the whole 2020. So anyway, with that, let me look at the the winner. We never say winners and losers because they're all winners, but the person getting the award this evening is Nature Fresh Farms. Congratulations. <laughs> Nature Fresh Farms is a fruit and vegetable producer and also a sales and distributor of all types of produce. Nature Fresh is located all across North America, but our home base is in Leamington, Ontario, and it was founded in 1999. So at Nature Fresh, when we talk about innovation, it doesn't end just with AI, robotics, and new growing technologies in the greenhouse. It goes as far as encouraging all of our team members to think outside the box during their daily activities. It's important to us that we have a very, very strong, innovative team around us and constantly trying to bring new things and everything that we do to the table. At Nature Fresh, what we believe makes it special is that innovation is part of our core business. We try to encourage all of our team members to think outside the box, not only when it comes to technology, but also on how we work together as a team. We strive to make sure that we have good retention programs in place and really, really focus on the people around us. By doing so, innovation comes naturally. 
So next, we are going to move back into some more good stuff here. The Excellence in Food Service Award. And this one is sponsored by TD Canada Trust. So let's welcome up to the stage uh, TD Canada Trust representative Kevin Verberg, the uh, Small Business Account Manager. Candidates in this category have a strong desire to serve the customer beyond anyone's expectation. They demonstrate an excellent reputation with customers and the business community. On behalf of TD, we would like to congratulate the finalists. In this category, the finalists are Booster Juice Leamington, Ray's Rib House, and Starbucks Leamington. And the winner is... <laughs> and the winner is Ray's Rib House. Man, who wants to go there right now? Ray could not be here. He's probably working on something delicious there right now. But you may know Ray's uh, Rib House to be a staple in Leamington. Like many of the mentioned businesses today, they've learned how to innovate and how to continue getting their great food out the door. You're always going to see Ray in the background somewhere in the restaurant. He's always keeping things running smooth. We just broke his award, so that doesn't he'll be upset about that. Um, <laughs> the good food, the friendly staff, the awesome prices, and the ease of ordering online makes Ray's Rib House a must-go to establishment. Congratulations, Ray. And now you got ribs on your mind. Um, might be late tonight, but tomorrow, give him a call. Well, let's make him like the busiest day of the year tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. Congratulations, Ray, and all the nominees. Now, we also do want to say a big congratulations, a big thank you, actually, to Enbridge uh, for their sponsorship tonight. My name is Brian Chauvin. I'm the operations manager for Windsor and Chatham for Enbridge Gas. Today, we're very pleased to sponsor the Leamington District Chamber of Commerce Annual Business Excellence Awards. At this time, I'd like to thank the Chamber of Commerce and provide congratulations to all of the nominees. Enbridge Gas is Canada's largest natural gas transmission, storage, and distribution company, and we serve approximately 4 million customers in Ontario, 10,000 of which are in the Leamington area. We at Enbridge Gas are passionate about giving back to the communities in which we live in and work in. On November 6, Enbridge announced an aggressive new goal to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 and an interim goal to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 35% by the year 2030. The future of energy really looks like green gas, less gas, more gas, and no gas. When we're talking about green gas, what we really mean is renewable natural gas, or RNG. And what that is, is really capturing and cleaning methane from emissions such as landfills or other sites where the methane would typically just go to the atmosphere. In April, Enbridge Gas announced a new voluntary program called OptUp. And what this does is allow customers that purchase gas from us to contribute $2 a month towards greening our system. In addition to OptUp, Enbridge has also announced the development of the largest RNG facility in Ontario. It is located at the Walker Environmentals Landfill site in Niagara Falls. This site will allow the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions by 48,000 tons per year. Beyond greening the gas supply, RNG makes productive and economic use of landfill or other organic wastes. It uses existing infrastructure and creates new jobs and revenue opportunities for municipalities. In terms of less gas, Enbridge is actually a leader in designing and developing energy conservation programs that help our customers ultimately save money, reduce emissions, and conserve energy. One program I'd like to mention is the Home Efficiency Rebate Program, and this is a program in which people can save up to $5,000 in rebates for doing energy retrofits on their homes. So we're talking about things such as using insulation, putting in new windows, doors. The people of Essex County are actually taking advantage of this program. What we found from the years 2015 to 2019, on average, there's approximately 770 customers that take advantage of this program through Essex County. In Leamington, those numbers equate to approximately 90 customers on average during that time. It really, what that is, is money saved in the customer's pocket at the end of the day. We encourage all Enbridge Gas customers who are interested in these incentive programs to visit EnbridgeSmartSavings.com. 
When we talk about more gas, really what we're talking about is CNG, and that's compressed natural gas. And it really takes the form in the transportation sector. So it's changing uh, heavy duty vehicles over from diesel to compressed natural gas. And there's typically a savings of 90% in reductions of emissions uh, in that transition. An example that comes to mind is in the city of Hamilton, where 137 buses in their fleet were switched over from diesel to compressed natural gas. Now this example has saved millions for the uh, city of Hamilton and reduced their emissions. No gas really refers to geothermal. And Enbridge has a geothermal program that's intended for new homeowners and builders to really offset that large upfront cost and break it down into manageable monthly payments. We work with geothermal experts to ensure that these systems are installed correctly. In closing, I'd like to say that Enbridge is very proud and privileged to continue our 100 year working relationship with the Leamington area as we all work towards a sustainable, low carbon energy future. And uh, again, we do want to thank you, Enbridge, as one of uh, the main sponsors of this uh, awesome event this evening. Let's move on to the next award. Our mic is sanitized. We're ready to roll. Award number 10, Grow South Essex, is sponsored by BMO Bank of Montreal. And if we could please welcome up here Brad Meredith, Vice President and uh, of the team. Thank you. I'm here tonight to present the award on behalf of BMO Bank of Montreal Agricultural Team. We are pleased to sponsor this year's Grow South Essex Award for Agriculture. BMO has a proud history of supporting agriculture and the businesses that support it. This area boasts many businesses ranging from vineyards to field farming to fishing to flowers. Our roots in the Canadian agriculture sector date back to 1817, when the, fir when the bank first began working with farmers to support and expand the agricultural industry, which has become a key driver of Canada's economy. The finalists in this category deserve to be recognized for their innovative approach to the local industry. The finalists in this category are Highbury Canco, John O's Foods Inc, Plant Products Inc. Thank you. And the winner is John O's Foods Inc. And since John O was unable to be here this evening, uh, let me brag about John for just a, a quick second right here. John O's Foods, a family owned and operated fish company specializing in sweetwater lake fish from Canada and Europe. John O Foods is the second largest product of uh, producer of lake fish in Ontario with a 55,000 square foot food processing plant. John O's have partnered with uh, First Nations and together have opened up an uh, environmentally sustainable fish farm um, off the shore uh, uh, da, 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 da. Yes, I apologize. I'm um, losing myself here. But congratulations again to John O's Food, family owned and operated, doing great things. And we look forward to more great things from you guys in the future. Now, as, as you may know as well, their company is in Wheatley. And we're all aware of what happened about two weeks ago, the, the big uh, tragic explosion that devastated the downtown core. Anybody here from Wheatley, we're thinking about you guys all the time. And again, Leamington and the surrounding area have been connected to Wheatley. And uh, we know Re Wheatley's resilient and we're going to support you guys in any way through the recovery. And again, thanks to all the heroes that evacuated and saved lives and have still been working tirelessly, tirelessly to get uh, Wheatley back up and running as they should be. So that's uh, much deserved. Thank you, everybody. Now we have a couple more awards to go. Getting near the end of it here. This next award is the Invest Windsor Essex, formerly known as Windsor Essex Economic Development Corporation. And they are the next award sponsor and they'll be presenting the Industrial Manufacturing Excellence Award. So if we could please welcome up to the stage, Marion Fantetti, Business Ombudsman with uh, Invest Windsor Essex. Hello everyone, thank you, Jay. And want to say thank you to Wendy Parsons and your Leamington District Chamber of Commerce for bringing us all here tonight to highlight the accomplishments and the rising stars of our local businesses. 
We are indeed so fortunate to have such a wide complement of several leading industries in the county, and so many of them are recognized globally. We're continuing to witness the ingenuity, flexibility, creativity, tenacity, and the true grit and grind of industry over the past challenging year and a half. And that is why Invest Windsor Essex is honored to be presenting the Industrial Manufacturing Excellence Award. So on behalf of our president and CEO, Stephen McKenzie, we say congratulations to all our companies that were nominated and to all the finalists in this category. So we look at our final three, and they are Fort Dearborn Company, Caxton Mark Inc., and Thermo Energy Systems Inc. And we are going to especially recognize Fort Dearborn Company. We provide uh, paper labels to the food and beverage industries. So customers such as Kraft and Campbell's and Nestle's are some of our customers, along with Highbury and Kenko in town as well. Fort Dearborn is, we're part of an American-based company. They're based out of uh, Chicago. They've been in business since the 1900s. This particular plant has been in the label business since the uh, early 70s. We have this uh, concept of lean manufacturing, which, which basically, uh, we look at the barriers that are in, in the area of production, and then we use a team-based approach to uh, eliminate the barriers and, try, and use the concept of continuous improvement. We do Kaizans, we have employee participation, we solve problems, and we have uh, a constant flow of continuous improvement to improve customer service. I think what makes us special is that we, we place uh, a lot of value on customer service and we take care of our customers. Um, we try to provide a quality product and, um, and on, on time when labels are required. We also value our employees and we put safety as one of our main criteria in our operation excellence. And congrats to all nominees. You're all welcome to come up and grab your certificate. And if uh, a rep from Fort Dearborn would like to come up, accept your award, get the accolades, get the photos, and, and say a few words, uh, this is your chance right now. Well, this is uh, uh, we greatly, uh, it's an honor to receive this. Uh, we're, we're, you know, very surprised and uh, we're happy to uh, receive it for Fort Dearborn, the company. Uh, so we've been operating in Leamington for a number of years. There's approximately 240 employees. We're producing up to 35 million labels every day. So, um, you know, I'm happy to accept this award for the 240 people, and I can't wait to go back and share it with everybody. So again, thank you very much, and it's an honor. Thank you. Now we're going to move on as well to the next award. And actually, we do want to welcome up someone back to the stage now from Libro Credit Union. We want to welcome up Lori Atkinson and Paul Thompson, uh, Paul Leamington Account Manager, of course, and Regional Commercial Manager. Again, from um, uh, Libro Credit Union, we would love them to say a few words um, as we get ready for the next award. Here's Lori. All right. Um, Paul and I are thrilled to be back up here this evening to announce the recipient of the 2021 Director's Choice Award. As I mentioned in my opening remarks this evening, Libro's story includes a long history of collaboration and cooperation to better our communities, to bring out the potential around us. We have always operated with a purpose beyond profit, creating a thriving local economy with the primary goal of creating strong and prosperous communities. Way back in 2014, we were presented with an opportunity to support a passion project for many dedicated volunteers in the community of Leamington. At the time, Libro announced a call for applications to our Community Builder Grant Program, 
later named Libro's Prosperity Fund. The application requested $105,000 in funding to purchase a building to the north of the Bank Theater to be used as a box office and administrative space. The Sun Parlor Community Theater was well on its way into transforming the century-old bank into a state-of-the-art cultural center. With this donation, the Libro box office was born at the Bank Theater. The Bank Theater is truly a jewel within the arts and culture sector community in this region. It has been amazing to see the impact that a passionate and determined group of volunteers can have. The Bank Theater has been a labor of love for many hardworking volunteers, a dedicated board of directors, committees, and many members. The arts and culture sector, particularly those that depend on in-person attendance, has likely been one of the hardest hit industries during the pandemic. Although the Bank Theatre has been unable to stage events in their beautiful new theatre, I applaud their creativity and commitment to providing high quality entertainment, albeit virtually. They have shown re resilience beyond belief. They too are heroes in our community. We remain optimistic about being able to return to enjoy live theatre and live music, and when we can do so, it will be ever more important for us to support our local artists, our actors, musicians, and performers, some of them who we saw here this evening. Please do consider getting involved and contributing to this wonderful jewel in Leamington, the Bank Theatre. It's a 212 seat theater right here in Leamington, Ontario that we are very proud of. We put on productions as well as musical concerts and there's a lot of great things coming in our season. We are located at 10 Erie Street South. Uh, this was originally a Bank of Montreal that we have undergone tremendous renovations for in the last few years with several phases. Um, and support from the community and sponsors in our municipality. We've actually been around. Our first production started in 2013, but the actual Sun Parlor players, who are the theater troupe here, started, I believe, in about 1987. Uh, and we just, we love to welcome everybody here. It's such a great space. It's intimate and it's very professional. I love being part of the Bank Theater because of the people that I work with. I work with a board that is experienced. They bring a multiple array of talents. Uh, I work with volunteers that are tremendously giving of their time and their experience as well. And what I grew up, born and raised right here in Leamington, and for me, for me, having my own theater in my own backyard is amazing. And I would like to welcome the Bank Theater's manager, who's probably very surprised right now, Michelle Fortier, uh, to the stage um, to accept this award. I don't know what to say, I'm about to cry. <laughs> so I'll just say thank you, Libro. They've been in our back corner and we can't do it without all of the support throughout our community. We're just about to open for our first show this weekend, and we'd love to see you there. Thanks, everybody. And thank you, especially to my board of directors and to all of the volunteers that worked so hard for us. Thank you. <laughs> that's awesome now you got more plans too. next thing you got to do is you got to go home check the schedule at the bank theater get yourself some tickets that's awesome well deserved for sure and now we are going to go to 
what uh, is kind of the big award of the night, right? The Alf Benny Award for Community Impact. And the last award of the evening is sponsored by uh, Blackburn Media. That's us. Um, my station makes 96.7. I appreciate you listening anytime. You can get uh, Dave Timo and the rest of the crew at uh, Cool 100.7. And, of course, on Country 95.9, speaking of superheroes, you got your Green Hornet. You got your Green Lantern. We got our green Cordell. Cordell Green! Woo! Good to see you, Jay. This is the first time I've seen Jay uh, in a year and a half without a mask on. Yeah, true. Probably. Yeah. Well, good things come to an end sometimes. <laughs> uh, my friends, uh, thank you so much. What a great uh, looking crowd here. Um, again, I know people have, have said, you know, let's thank Wendy, but I haven't heard all the honks to go along with that. So let's thank Wendy in the chamber and everybody for this great event tonight. This is by far the nicest car show that I have ever been to. So good job. Uh, fantastic. I overdressed for it tonight. I, I think of the, did, I, did anybody else come up wearing a tie? Am I? Well, oh, and then of course Nat did. Yeah, obviously Nat. From the Nat ways, did. Yeah. That's right. So anyway, I've been wearing a robe for the last year and a half. So this is like heaven. Uh, I, I am so honored uh, once again especially obviously in light of what has happened over the last year and a half uh, to be here for this celebration tonight. Feel good stories. We need lots of them. We need more of them. And this is what this night's all about. And especially as we end this evening with the celebration of an unsung hero in our community. Blackburn Radio, um, sorry, <laughs> we've been saying that all night, but a few weeks ago, we changed our name. We're actually Blackburn Media Inc. So change your contacts in your phone. <laughs> uh, we are very proud to present tonight's Alf Benny Award. Every year, we honor those individuals that have given it their all, uh, not just in the year previously, but throughout their lives with their energy, their talent, their commitment to helping out in the community. And once again, in tonight's program, you'll see that list of past winners of the Alf Benny Award, a long list of notable names, community legends, uh, everyday folks like you and I. It's a document of those who have shaped the fabric and history of our town over the years. And tonight we get to add another name to the history books. Uh, tonight's honored guest, as you know, is going to be receiving a beautiful commemorative work of art from our good friend, Todd Stahl. You can see him right here in our time-lapse video, creating the work of art and uh, she'll be receiving that here this evening. And if you watch it, you'll know who it is before I'm even done. And by the way, if you recognize your description here, you can save time and just start walking up to the stage. Uh, tonight's recipient originally hails from England, but made Leamington her home many years ago. She's a former Montessori directress and opened her own Montessori preschool in Leamington, retiring after an incredible 48 years. Everything she does is done at 110%. She gives back to her community constantly and volunteers with numerous organizations. She's volunteered at Little Tomatoes Children's Theater, Thrift on Mill, and helps cook and serve the community meals for the homeless at St. John's Anglican Church. She has served on the Bank Theater Board of Directors, including as president, and although no longer on the board for today's honoree, the show must go on, and she remains a key almost daily component to the bank theater, even while closed during the pandemic. She's also a Sun Parlor player, one of the few who have been with the bank theater for many years, and that's just the tip of her talent. She's also done uh, the lighting, the props, the costuming, the hospitality, and so much more. She's given up her personal time and food to the homeless, encouraging a spirit within that community of supporting and helping each other. Uh, there was a moment this summer where she became aware of an individual living in his car. Uh, in tough times, sweltering in the scorching summer heat, and went through great efforts to find a way for him to stay cool. In the theater, they say, never work with children or animals, but she loves both, and she's become quite a friend to the many stray cats in her neighborhood, making sure that they're cared for. Tonight's Alf Benny Award winner is ready to help anyone without question whether it's encouraging or sewing costumes for youth and supporting local theater with costumes and props or even volunteering behind the bar or to help a local business. And of course, ensuring the homeless and the strays have food in their bellies. Her love of her community and humanity always shines through. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big warm welcome, congratulations, and a deserved bravo to the showstopper, and I hope she's feeling quite chuffed to bits about this. Hear ye, hear ye, the Queen Mom Penelope, it's Penny Gill. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. My first thing I said was bloody hell. So <laughs> thank you, everyone. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Thank you. So we're going to get our last little round of photos here. If uh, if you have any photos, don't forget to feel free to share them online. And you know what? That's that's basically going to be it for the night here. Again, we want to say a quick thanks again to all of you for being here, first of all. Big thanks to all the sponsors, again, including Libro Credit Union, Enbridge, Paul's Basement and Waterproofing, Seacliff Manor, Baker Tilly for helping us out with the prizes as well. Um, thanks again to everybody for, for stopping out here. Our award sponsors and uh, the main show sponsors, the Roma Club for their great partnership as as well and again finalists make sure you get your your certificates come up for some photos come up and say hey if you'd like to thanks again wendy for doing so much behind the scenes to get this done every year and i'm just gonna stop talking enjoy your night drive super safe and uh we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning all right yes.